Let us see our next interesting question. What is meant by reference variable in C++? Reference variable is just like a pointer with few difference. It is declared using an ampersand operator and a reference variable must always be initialized. The reference variable once defined refer to the variable and it cannot be changed or pointed to another variable that is you can't create an array of references the way it is possible with the pointer. Here your ampersand reference is the reference variable of x. Your value of x is assigned to be 10 and the reference is assigned to be x. Next if I change the value of reference to be 20 this will also change the value of x to be 20. So if I see my output over here the value of x will be 20. And further, if I change the value of x, that will reflect in your reference as well. So, your reference variable on printing at this point of time will give you 30. Let us see our next interesting question. What is the difference between reference variable and pointers in C++? Pointers can be assigned the value of null. Reference cannot be assigned the value of null and it's always associated with actual memory and not null. Pointers can be repointed, whereas your reference variable cannot be reinitialized or pointed to another object. Pointer has its own memory address and location, whereas your reference variable refers to the same location for both the places. So this makes the major difference between your reference and the pointers. Our next question is, what is function declaration and definition? Function declaration is nothing but existence of the function can be told to the compiler using the function declaration. Whereas your function will have a return type its name and the parameter list which has to be mentioned in your function and the function body is written in the function definition. So here if you see we are defining the function to the compiler over here that I have a function of sum which can take two variables. And the definition of the function is written over here that you have to add the two variables and return the value. The function is called in your program over here sum of a b by passing two variables. So this is known as function declaration and definition. Let us move on to our next question. What is overriding? Overriding is nothing but in C++ the base class member can be overridden by the derived class function with the same signature as that of the base class function. Method overriding is used to provide different implementations of a function so that more specific behavior can be realized. If you see we have a virtual function my fun in your base class and your derived class also has the same function. But since your base is having a virtual class, on invoking your derived class, this will access the function over here and the output will be written over here. This is your overridden method. It will have the same name as that of your base class function. Let us see our next question. What is the difference between method overloading and method overriding? Overriding means a method in C++ is able for functions of the same name to be defined as long as these methods have different signatures, say different set of parameters. We have to add functions for 3 and 2 numbers then that will be an example for overloading. Overriding is the ability of inherited class rewriting the virtual methods of the base class. That is, two methods will have the same name and one will be virtual, then we can define 
the same method in derived class with different set of functions so that is known as overriding thank you so much for listening to gtech on c++ hope you had got some idea about how the interview questions will be on c++